Let's pray together, all right? Open the eyes of my heart. Let's prepare our hearts for the time of worship. Right, and open the eyes. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Won't you open the eyes of my heart? I want to see you. I want to see you. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Won't you open the eyes of my heart? I want to see you. I want to see you. One more time. Open the eyes of my heart. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Won't you open the eyes of my heart? I want to see you. I want to see you, see you high and lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, oh, holy, holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you in holy, 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 Open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Won't you open the eyes of my heart? I want to see you. I want to see you. And open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Lord. Open the eyes of my heart. I want to see you. I want to see you, see you, I am lift, see you, I am lifted up, shining in the light of your glory, pour out your power and love as we sing holy, oh, holy, 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 oh, holy, 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 oh, holy, holy. Holy, 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 I want to see you and holy, 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 I want to see you. Open the eyes, open the eyes of my heart, Open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see you, one last time. Open the eyes of my heart, Lord, open the eyes of my heart, I want to see you, I want to see Let's pray. God, may you give us the eyes to see and the ears to hear um, your amazing gospel at this time. You who have been always leading us by your word, we thank you um, and we give you thanks. Uh, we give you all of our hearts and our lives at this time. 
allow the remnants here to be able to give you, uh, to be able to uh, worship you uh, with, with all their heart, mind, soul, and strength. May you be able to imprint uh, and give them the roots and the nature of this gospel so that in the deepest parts of their, uh, of their hearts, minds, and souls, that their scars um, and that all of uh, their spiritual problems would be healed uh, through the power of the gospel, Lord. Uh, God, may this time of worship be one where we enjoy Emmanuel. May you be able to uh, truly work upon all the remnants uh, for those that are uh, still joining, uh, for those that are uh, still on their way to come. Uh, God, may you be able to uh, guard their hearts and minds and be able to uh, allow them to succeed in worship as we join here all together. We thank you and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, let's sing Rum Song together. You will never give in or give away. There we go. You will never give in or give away. You overcome whatever comes your way. You are God's pride apple of his eye. Yes, it's you and it's me. We are all the remnant. God is with you now and always. Move me on ahead in all your way. We will go to that land, to the place in God's plan. We will praise the name of Jesus, shout for joy. You will never give in or give way. You overcome whatever comes your way. You are God's pride apple of his eye. Yes, it's you. And it's me, we are the Lord remnant. God is with you now and always. Move me on ahead in all your way. We will go to that land, to the place in God's plan. We will praise the name of Jesus, shout for joy. God is with you now and always. Move me on, ahead in all your way. We will go to that land, to the place in God's plan. We will praise the name of Jesus, shout for joy, and we will praise. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus. We will praise the name of Jesus, shout for joy. All right, let's continue to praise here at this time. This is the day. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and glad in it. Oh, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Oh, celebrate the presence of the Lord. He is worthy to be praised. Rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. 
This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has This is the day, this is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. I will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day that the Lord has made. Rejoice, rejoice in the Lord. Rejoice in the Lord. Hello, Johnny. How are you? Hello, David. Hello, Professor. All right. Welcome. Okay. All right. Let's continue to praise. Let's praise one more together. Okay. Let's get the blood flowing. Let's get the praises flowing. And let's get ready for today's worship. Okay. We'll have, uh, we'll do, we'll do a little fun one. Okay. Uh, deep down. All right, here we go. Deep, 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 oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart, I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down. Deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down, everyone together. Deep down in my heart. Deep, deep, deep. Deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. I love my Jesus. Deep, deep, oh, deep down, down, deep down in my heart. Do you love your Jesus? All right, my right side. This side, go. Deep down in my heart, left side. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Deep down in my heart. Right side. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. All right, Johnny. Deep down in my heart. Left side. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart. Oh, deep down goes online. Do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your online. Go. Deep down. All right, everyone together. And do you love your Jesus? Deep down in your heart, all together. All right, deep down in my heart. In my all right. Why don't you bless one another real quick, and we'll praise one last one together. Say. You are blessed. Thank you. Everyone is blessed. All right, guys. Let's praise this together. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord bless you and keep you. Make His face shine upon you. And be gracious to you, Lord, turn in face toward you and give you peace. Lord, bless, Lord, bless you and keep you, make His face shine upon you. 
and be gracious to you. Lord, turn his face toward you and give you an amen. God, may you bless the remnants. May you give them your keeping inside of the covenant. May they be able to know that, uh, that uh, wherever they go, uh, because you have always been leading them with, their, uh, with your word, uh, that we have the greatest identity and authority uh, to be able to use and exercise wherever we go, Lord. Uh, God, may the remnants here uh, become um, your evangelists. May they become your spiritual summits. Uh, may they be able to become the ones uh, that can change the spiritual flow of this world and proclaim uh, to the very ends of the earth that Jesus is the Christ, uh, the answer to all problems, Lord. During this time of worship, uh, we know that your covenant is relayed. So, God, may you be able to guard the hearts and the minds, allow that message, allow your word uh, to become uh, a well-placed seed upon good soil during this time of worship. We thank you and we pray all these things in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe in you, my God, the Father Almighty, the Creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, your only Son, my Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, who suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and buried. <laughs> On the third day, you rose again. You ascended into heaven. You were seated at the right hand of the Father, and shall then come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in your Holy Spirit, the Holy Universal Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. The old child of God, three to one. Without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, may I pursue righteousness, godliness, faith, love, endurance, and gentleness, and fight the good fight of faith. I confess that God, you are the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and the Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives an unapproachable light, who no one has seen or can see, and to you be the honor and eternal dominion. Amen. For for his mission, three to one. May I not bow to the threats of the world, but grant me to speak your word with great boldness while you stretch out your hand to heal and perform signs and wonders through the name of your holy servant Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray. Amen. Inhale. Hold. Even now the triumph of God is at work, always and forever. Even now God is working by the Spirit and the Word, the Father. And even now the Christ is getting rid of the three curses, disasters help Satan as the prophet priest king and accomplish salvation. Son, and even now, unseen to your eyes, the Holy Spirit is working upon us. Spirit, you've enjoyed us. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale. Hold. What is arising right now? Our background is heaven. The time you spend in prayer is the time you bring God's kingdom here on earth. To bring God's kingdom means while we're praying, invisible to your eyes, God mobilizes angels for his hands. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. You have an amazing authority. You begin to break down the back of hell, bind Satan, break down all the force of darkness. Exhale. Are you okay, Johnny? You know, your leg is not a notebook. Inhale. Hold, then five great strengths we've made for you. Spiritual power, intellectual power, physical power, financial power, manpower. Exhale. Inhale. 
Hold. There's something more important than all these. Not only your heart, but your brain will be strengthened. Only then can you become summit do well in your studies. Exhale. Hold. Heaven, our background, by the mystery of the Shining God, enjoy God's kingdom here on earth, and we'll go to heaven. Just wait for God's kingdom, and it'll come. Everywhere you go, God's kingdom will come. Like Jojo. Exhale. Sit straight, Johnny. Inhale. Hold. Hell, we don't die and go to hell, but people living a hellish life on earth, having a background of hell, they go to hell when they die. Satan continues to follow them and torments their life at the end, drags you to hell. Ah, exhale. Inhale. Hold. Angels with the background of heaven. Angels are ministering God's work. When we die, they usher us to heaven. Wherever we go, God mobilizes his angels. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Spiritual state. What's more important than answers is my spiritual state. This is where everything begins to be solved. Help me to have a healthy spiritual state that rises full of the covenant and is filled with the Holy Spirit always. Help me to listen to the voice of God, not towards people. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. Church. It's the shadow of the throne of heaven and the path to which we get there. Exhale. Inhale. Hold. People that remember must meet. Leaders with the gospel, successful people with the gospel, fellow workers with the gospel. Exhale. This life, Jesus Prodigy is healing. What's true healing? M. Evangelism missions, making disciples of all nations. Spiritual healing. Save the future generations. Receive power through the Holy Spirit. Witness to the very ends of the earth. B. Pinky promised. 57 Healing Summit. When the Holy Spirit works, doors of evangelism open. Find the hidden prepared disciples. Like Lydia. I miss Lydia. Where's Lydia? And Addie. As word is fulfilled, change takes place. Christ, God's kingdom, Holy Spirit, pray. May the Lord bless y'all. C V dip. C is covenant, God's promise, God's sovereignty. See it ahead of time. V, vision, God's plan, world evangelization, make it mine. D, dream, covenant dream, enjoy it ahead of time. I, whose image are we created in? God's image. We enjoy God being with us like fishies, like being in the water. Conquer, win ahead of time. P, put into practice God's goal. Because he already finished everything. Carry out our duty as spiritual watchmen, doctors, and ambassadors. Stay in the flow. Who are you? Who are you? Why are you just smiling? Who are you? What the? Who are you? What the? I guess he doesn't know. Enjoy the 10 mysteries. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1 gas station. Then on the 10 foundations, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now almost how? Five assurances. Salvation, answer, prayer, guidance, forgiveness, victory. 
62 fouls when we hold on to 138. Change the flow. Enjoy heaven. Church, which is the shadow of heaven. Who's the master of the church? Christ. Who's your master? Today's message, Rahab, Caleb, Joshua, who experienced salvation? RCJ experienced salvation. Yeah, RCJ. Just know what it means. Rahab, Caleb, Joshua. Experience salvation. That means they saw it, they heard it. Who are you, Johnny? Who are you? Why are you just smiling? What the? Are you guys tired? Should we just um, take a nap? Not all. <laughs> a spiritual nap? Yeah, spiritual yeah. death? Oh. <laughs> no. It's just one of those days, isn't it? Like we have Johnny actually laying down right now. Like a hop from going like this. It's just one of those days. Dear Jens, there's all a lot of energy. Lydia, Eddie just stayed home. <sighs> it's just one of those days. Joshua 1 9. Last one, there's a rotten egg. Oh, hapung rotten egg. Stinky rotten egg. Dipped in vinegar. Ooh, you don't even have a Bible out, Johnny. What are you talking about? And Shiggy's just sleeping with his eyes open. A lot of interesting things going on today. All right, if you found it, read it, follow along. If you didn't, open up your ears. Uh, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be terrified. Do not be discouraged. For the Lord your God will be with you wherever you go. Amen. Uh, Jesus life, Jesus power, Jesus healing to experience, parentheses, see and hear God's salvation. And you just draw eyeballs and ears. Just draw eyeballs and ears, Johnny. Just do ov like a like a loop. Hafung's yawning. That's right, world. Hapun is yawning. No more adults. Only Emma's parents are here. Someone never comes. Lydia's mom. Can I move on? Let's go, Caleb. We've experienced salvation. Yay! The end. Forum time. We experienced salvation, right? God saved us from original sin. Like, we were in this big tub full of poop water. Ooh, disgusting. Imagine being in a tub full of poop water. And you have blindfolds on, so you don't know where to go. Ooh. And you have earmuffs, so you can't hear people. You can't hear people say, hey, come here, come here, no. No, you're just swimming in poop water. The poop water of original sin. So sad, right? Like, you can't even help each other. Ugh, it's disgusting. Oh, oh. God saved us. Wow, God saved us from the poop water. And he dried us off. No more poop water stains. And then what, he did, what did he do? Oh, yay. No more blindfold. And no more earmuffs. No. 
And not only that, oh, God gave us a tube, a boat. Now we could go save other people swimming in the poop water. Now we could take the earmuffs and the, what is it, the blindfolds off of the people swimming in the poop water. The poop water of 3611. Oof, gross. So what should we do now? Yeah, we should go save them, right? Let's go. Woohoo! Oh, wait. But should we just go back in the poop water? And then we're like, oh, you know what? I like it here. Even though we have our ear earmuffs and blindfold off, I'm just enjoying my time in the poop water. Oh, I miss these days. Oh, it's nice and warm in here. But there's poop water. What is what what should I do? Instead of just enjoying my time there, going back enjoying the poop, we should save them all, right? Take off the blindfolds and the earmuffs. Come on, everybody, come back on board. What does this kind of remind you of? Like, what's the boat? Jesus oh, Jesus Christ. We got to save. Yeah, we got to get out of the poop water. No, just no, ignore them. Because we were once dead, swimming in the poop water, but then God saved us. Oh, because in the background, Satan. Satan is the one. Uh, we used to follow the ways of the world, following the ruler of the kingdom of air, which is Satan, who tricks us with the poop of 3611. We were once dead, deserving of wrath, of curses. We were in the sin and curses, the poop water of original sin. But through God, made us alive with Christ, in Christ, right? He saved us. He took off our blindfold. Yay, well now we can see the spiritual facts. Took off our earmuffs. Now we could hear God's word. And then it's by grace that God saved us, right? He didn't have to save us from the poop water swimming pool, but he saved us, and that's a gift. Isn't that amazing? So now what we need to do or have are the eyes and ears. So we need to see and hear other people's need for salvation, right? We need to save other people swimming in the poop water. Because God saved us. Wow, God chose you, took you out of that swimming pool. I hear so many people go like this. <sighs> Do you like hearing that? <sighs> Isn't it annoying? I think it's annoying. <laughs> what the? <sighs> it's like you hear it and then you, it's like you spread, you're spreading unbelief. <laughs> See, now God called us as an evangelist to save people, right? Wow. God promised to make us witnesses. And God prepared you. Now, everything about your life, everything you know, everything you experience, good and bad, God prepared you to save other people. So it doesn't matter how dumb you are. It doesn't matter how smart you are. It doesn't matter how fat you are. It doesn't matter how skinny you are. It doesn't matter how talented you are. It doesn't matter how uh, untalented you are. It doesn't matter because you need to save those people. Isn't that amazing? So I can't force you to change. Change, change, change. No, what if God's preparing you to save other people like yourself? Wow. Like all of my past, there was God's plan to prepare you 
for who you are now and who you will become to save people. Wow. So like in the past, what if, I don't know, Banshee was like a, he practiced tap dancing. Like if, he, if Banshee practiced tap dancing for like six years, now he's like, it's, he's pretty good at tap dancing. Oh, that, that past skill or experience becomes a tool for evangelism. Right? Isn't that amazing? God uses your past. Everything that you know and experience, good and bad. All your experiences, right? What about all... My, I, I have... Or some, someone I love died when I was young. Okay. Now you could... Now you could share the gospel to other people who have those family problems, right? What if you're really good at soccer? Then you share the gospel to other soccer players. Wow. What if you experienced, I don't know, like there's, if there's an orphan, no parents at all. But he could have been scarred, but then that becomes a great experience to, to save other people who don't have parents. Wow. Wow. So whatever happens for us, it's okay, because it's a tool for evangelism. Oh, your interests. Like some people are interested in, uh, I don't know, Barbies. Then you could share the gospel to other people who are interested in Barbies. Right, Hapung? Some people are really interested in sleeping. So you could share the gospel to other people who are interested in sleeping. You could, you could stretch, stand up and stretch if you want. If you're interested in anime, then you share the gospel to other people who are interested in anime. Like there's this one girl in my school. And then our, her, her Google icon, it's anime. Everything she talks about, anime. Talks, talks with her friend, anime. Everything anime. Okay, so everything that your interests, it might be good, or your experiences, it might be good. But then at the same time, it could also be bad. But is that a problem? No, because good or bad, we use it for evangelism. Everything, everything that happens in my life is for evangelism. Because it's preparing you to share the gospel to people like yourself. Why? Because everybody needs Jesus. Is there an exception? No, 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 no. Everybody needs the gospel. Everybody needs Jesus. No exceptions. So think about it. Where are you now? What school are you at? What after, after school program are you in? What city? What neighborhood? What church? And then think about who is around you. Who do you spend time with during the week besides your family? Friends, soccer players, classmates. So those around you, God placed you there to share the gospel there. Like say the people around you play sports. Then God placed you there to save those athletes, right? Go, Michael, go! And then all, some people around you might be artists, fashion people. Well, why did God place you there? Because he wants you to save those people. Some people around you might be smart students or dumb students. <laughs> Why did God place you there? Why did God make you smart? To save smart people. Why did God make you dumb? To save dumb people. I'm not saying she's dumb. I'm just saying. God, there's a reason for everything. What if around you are criminals and bad people? Well, God placed you around bad people to save bad people. Criminals. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, yeah gospel criminal for some reason around you are old people like for some reason you connect with old people 
Why did God, why did God place you around old people? To save the old people. Oh, some, maybe God placed you around kids. Like, some people are really good with kids, right? Why? Because God wants you to save the kids. So it doesn't, everybody, wherever you are, God wants you to save that place. Some people might be really mean to you, right? For some, like, they're really mean. But you know what? Hear it and see it as, oh. Oh, God wants me to share the gospel to those mean people. And then some people might be really, really nice to you, right? Like there's this uh, custodian at my school. She see, she's so nice to me. So nice, always smiling. Why? If, whether they're mean or nice, God wants you to share the gospel to those people. So basically everybody, right? Everybody around you. So look around. Look around. Who's around you? Don't live, don't be selfish and just do your own thing. Look at the people around you, especially non-believers. So we need the eyes and ears to see that everybody needs Jesus. Then why should I care about evangelism? and helping people receive salvation. Why should I? Because everybody's trapped inside of the 12 problems, right? What's the 12 problems? Three, who's their master? God, uh, Satan is the master, right? People are very self-centered. They only care about themselves. All about me, 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 me. They only care about physical things. If you don't have God's word, you become physical. Genesis chapter 11, false success is money, true happiness. If you have money, will you be happy? Nope. 13, uh, culture of darkness. Acts chapter 16, you listen to the words of people in the world. Oh, you are trapped by the culture. You're swept away by the culture. Oh, and the six curses, right? We act like slaves to Satan. We would start worshiping idols, putting God, or putting things before God. Oh, we can't think correctly, right? We have dark thoughts, maybe thoughts that don't have to do with God's plan. And then our bodies start getting hurt. Live a life like hell. And then not only that, these problems are passed down. And their thinking and their heart gets covered in darkness. Scary, isn't it? Don't you feel sorry for everybody who's in this? Yeah, yeah we got to save them. Now, JCR, Joshua, Caleb, Rahab, they experience salvation. Like, remember Joshua and Caleb? When they were in Egypt, they saw the 10 plagues. Not only that, they saw what happened when they put the blood of the lamb. And they actually had exodus out of Egypt. Joshua and Caleb all experienced this. They experienced the pillar of fire and cloud. They experienced the Red Sea splitting. Look, they see it, they saw and heard all these things. They saw what happened to their enemies. They saw that God provided manna for them and quail and water and victory. And there was this one time God was really angry at the Israelites and then he unleashed venomous poisonous snakes and then it was killing and biting everybody. But then uh, Moses put up a, gold, a bronze snake and they looked at it and they were healed. They saw all that. They saw God giving the Ten Commandments. They saw the priests um, taking care of the tabernacle. They saw what it, what it means to live centered on the tabernacle. They knew that God was with them. 
Same thing with Joshua. God's with Joshua. And God said, be strong, courageous. Don't be afraid. And he kept repeating it over and over. Be strong, courageous. Be strong, courageous. He doesn't want us to forget. The same thing with Caleb. Like he was around 45 when he left Egypt. And then for 40 years in the wilderness, he never forgot. Right? Remember, and he followed God wholeheartedly, not half-heartedly. Uh, and then remember when it was time to go uh, conquer the land, when he was 85 years old, he's like, I'm still as strong as I was 40 years ago. He's like, give me this mountain. And then Rahab, Rahab saw that, oh, God was with the Israelites, and she wanted to be part of it. So JC, uh, okay, that's the same point. They had a secret mystery of with salvation. Okay, remember? So there was a bunch of babies that was born in the wilderness, and they didn't see the Red Sea splitting. They didn't see uh, the Egyptian soldiers being swept away. They didn't see a lot of the stuff. So for the new remnant babies, a bunch of babies, a little scary baby. Oh. Hairy, hairy baby. Oh, okay, so they wanted, God wanted them to see. See proof that God was with them. So instead of the Red Sea, when they were at the Jordan River, God said, here, go, priests, take the Ark of the Covenant and put, step foot into the Jordan River. And as soon as, they did, as soon as they did that, the Jordan River split. Ta-da! And they crossed. Woohoo! And uh, Joshua had all the leaders of the 12 tribes get one big stone from the river, and they brought it back to camp, and they made a monument. And remember uh, the city of Jericho? So for the remnant babies, God wanted to show them that God was with them. Remember, he, uh, he sent spies to Rahab's house. Rahab was a hidden, prepared disciple. And then she told them all the leaders of Jericho ran away. And then they promised to save her and her family. Look at that, one person saves family. And then they were to circle Jericho with their mouths shut. Yeah. yeah. And then in the seventh day, circle seven times, and then when the trumpet plays, ah, scream, and then what happens? Jericho wall will fall. And then they went inside and conquered, as promised. And they had victory. And they saved Rahab. Rahab became like the great, 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 great grandfather of, I mean, grandma of David. And then when there were, uh, so there was like these five kings, they gathered together to gang up on Israel. And then Joshua prayed to God, God, stop the sun for one full day. So, which means they, the other enemies, they have to travel for an extra day and they'll be extra tired. And then when they're extra tired, they can go and attack. And that's what happened. God listened to Joshua's prayer and then he stopped the entire universe for 24 hours. Wow, and then it's like never before and after. God listened to Joshua, a man, and stopped the entire galaxy. Wow. Does God move the entire world for one remnant? I think so. And then there was hail, and the hail killed more enemies than by sword. Look at that. And then all these remnant babies, they saw all this. Wow. Okay, so what should we do? What do, we need, what do we need to do? Just like JCR, we need to make Jesus' salvation mine. Make it mine. Mine, 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 mine. We have to make Christ mine, God's kingdom mine, the working, dwelling, filling, guidance of the Holy Spirit mine. We have to make God's word, prayer, and evangelism mine. How? Through worship, doing scheduled prayer. You guys do schedule prayer at home by yourself? 
that's centered on church, worship, right? Gather for worship, schedule prayer. Prayer journal. You guys do prayer journal? Yeah. Isn't that amazing? All the messages like match. Like today's was Passover. And then we learned about Passover on Sunday. Wow. God's word matches, huh? Do you guys sit down and listen to Pastor Yu's message on YouTube? No. Oh. Well, you can try. Take notes. It's not that long. It's like 30 minutes. Do you listen to the first service and the second service message? It's also on YouTube. I know Addie does. And then strangely, all these messages, it matches. Banshigi does too. Yeah, it matches. That's tasting God's word, being living and active. Isn't that amazing? And then you'll find what your talent is. Talent is not something you're just good at. It's talent is something that God gives you so that you can use it for world evangelization. Right? So just stay in the flow. Word and prayer. I could do that. And we talent for evangelism and missions. Right? And then we our, our direction, we match towards two, three, seven nations, right? Like Bonshiki. So don't forget. God's with you, so just be strong and courageous, just like Joshua, Caleb, Rahab. You experienced salvation. Now you have to save. Look, look around and to see who you, who needs saving around you. We'll have a blessed forum time. May the Lord bless y'all, keep y'all. May the Lord face shine upon y'all and be gracious to y'all. May the Lord's face turn towards y'all, give y'all peace. Peace, life, Jesus, power, Jesus, healing. Let's see who started their homework. For those of you here, you guys could do your homework tonight. There's a Chromebook. Pixton. So choose one story, Joshua, Caleb, or Rahab, and make a Pixton comic. If you need the Bible verses, it's here. Who is this, Addie? Addie started her homework. Who is this? I think that's Emma. Emma started her homework. Who is that? Oh, Claire. Claire started her homework. That's it. Today, I guess we'll pray for Tonga and Micronesia, which um, looks like Christian, mostly Christian nation. You ready? Three, two, one. Dear God, may you bless Tong Tonga and Micronesia so that the gospel may enter and revive these nations. May the disciples arise, shine the light of the gospel there. In Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen. Stay seated and look for the hidden objects. Are you ready? Three, two, one. Go! Teacup. Find the teacup. Where's the brain? Three, two, one. Right okay, let's look. Teacups. Oh. Chromebook. Oh. Reese's cup. Shield. Skunk. Bonjigi's stinky head. <laughs> Lego brick. Oh, white Lego brick. Oh. Feather. Oh, Daniel holding a feather sword. <laughs> Caterpillar. Daniel's eyebrow. What? Chip, nose, brain, oh, yeah, brain, heart. Oh my gosh, Lydia has a heart in her head. Gross. A needle. Oh, did you find the needle? Yeah. It's right here. Right here. Yeah, that's hard. Needle in a haystack. 
All right, let's, oh, let's close our eyes, fold our hands. Dear, dear God, just like Joshua, Caleb, and Rahab, help us to experience salvation and save those around us. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray, amen.